Hello everyone and welcome to So Many Games So Little Time. Uh, we are doing another unboxing, this time of uh, Blood Money, the expansion of Western Legends. This is the box as I opened it and I'll show you what's actually inside so you know what to expect when it arrives on your doorstep, I guess. There's a lot of foam at first. And then, then. This is the first pack here. Uh, this we'll see later what's in here. And it says Western Legends Correction Pack. Okay, so put it on the side. There we go. More foam. And here's the actual game. The actual expansion, Western Legends Blood Money. Okay, just on the side, to the side. And that is it. All right, that's all that's in the box. So I'm going to quickly move this to the side. And then, and then and then take back what we saw before. There we go. And uh, let's zoom in and uh, take a look at what's inside. Okay, so I took off the plastic already, the cover. So let's not start with our swear engine yet. Let's do this first, which is the correction pack. All right, let's see what's in here exactly. Seems to be a ton of stuff. All right, that's it, it's empty. So from what I remember, okay, first of all, there's this, which is, I guess, good to read some books with. Uh, okay, is there an overview in here? Not really. All right, so I remember reading that this is a poker deck that replaces the original and it has no printing differences because apparently with the other expansions, there were some, uh, maybe some slight color differences or whatever. So, you know, this is the poker deck is now complete with the expansions. Um, so, I'll go over it a bit. So we have the, for the art that are alive, settle up, cheat, settle up, stagecoach, stagecoach, sprint, manhunt, vendetta, payday. I'm sure some of these are new, but it's been too long. So I don't know which ones specifically are new. I'm going over it, but you could potentially just uh, pause the card that you want to read what it does if you uh, recognize it as new because like i said i don't uh it's been too long i am planning to play it this week though because you know that's what expansions do right they give you the uh a good reason to break it out again um yeah the, the art is is good you know it's, it's fitting it's it's not gonna blow anyone away but you know it's okay it works so quick draw Determination, Living Legend, and Joker. All right. Now, it also says at the bottom, actually, I should have known, this means it's expansion. So I could have actually looked at it and checked out which ones were expansion, which ones were not. So basically, Dead or Alive is new. Move to any bandit hideout if you are wanted. Play this card from hand after cards are revealed in a fight to decrease the value of a card played against you by one. So that is new. So let me quickly look for the BMs. This one's new, Stagecoach. Move up to four spaces. You may pay $10 to move up to six spaces instead. All right, that's actually nice. And $10 isn't that expensive. Uh, let's see. Uh, WWL, BM, Ruthless. After cards are revealed in a fight against another player, play this card from hand to decrease the value of a card played against you by one. You may gain one wanted point to reduce the value of that card by two instead, which is actually really nice because it can really boost your wanted rating and uh, thus give you more bonuses. But of course, it also will make you a nicer, juicier target for the marshals. All right, let's see. Anything else? Anything else? Not as far as I can tell. No, 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 no. Okay, that's it. So it's not that much actually. All right, so move this to the side. And this can be, I'll throw this away. 
Uh, then we have this. Some cards. Alright. So, let's see. The other players in this fight gains one wound and loses one. Is this the, the one? Are these the cards that were for the bandits? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Because the other player will draw a card and then see and then play one of these and, uh, you know, you always hope that it's not too bad and, and so on. Yeah. So, okay. I guess these are also corrections. Uh, this doesn't say from which uh, version it is. So, I think it's just a correction. Then we have these, which for me are useless, I think. Um, unless they included blood money, which I am not sure. Because they're player raids, and I think they're just exactly the same as the one that came with anti-up. Um, and I don't immediately see anything new. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm unsure. Let's just put it like that. I'm unsure. Um, yeah. I don't know. So basically it's just, there are uh, six player raids for blood money and, uh, well, for the, for the base game. Then you have the general store. And this is a replacement because it show, shows the hoof and it's for the people who have a play mat. And then they know that the general store is supposed to go where the hoof is and not the other spot. Um, right, because you have the hoof side and the keg side. And then you have uh, these tokens, so for the bandits as well, I think, uh, to replacement from the wild bunch of extras and the anti-up ones. Uh, this sees what you get when you defeat them. If I'm not mistaken, I'll have to double check. Then we have this, which is actually really nice. It's a it's a hardcover. I thought it would just be like a regular uh, a regular rule a manual book, but no. So this is actually a hardcover book that has the complete rules reference in here. Okay. Uh, well, it even has, <laughs> uh, uh, what do you call it in English? English is not my first language even though i'm an english teacher but i have no idea what this means it's like a page indicator or whatever if you know tell me in the comments uh, like i love to learn oh but it's loose oh in cantonese they'd say che, which means disappointment so i'm gonna lose this very quickly i don't know already it's supposed to be stuck somewhere right it's a bit weird but anyway help me go in there all right this is the first piece of damage because this has been this is stuck together. It's a bit sad, but okay. at least it doesn't uh, influence anything. It would actually be better if it's just this wasn't white, right? It should just be two sides. It's a bit weird that they left this white. Anyway, all right. So introduction from the designer, how he feels about everything. Uh, it also shows you all the expansions, your Western Legends, the base game. First full of extras, the good, the bad, and the handsome, Western Legends anti-up, wild bunch of extras, and Western Legends blood money. All right, so this is when everything is all set up in all its glory. All right, so let's go farther, the uh, final setup. Okay, phases of play, the action phase. This is really nice quality, people. It's really nice. Uh, now, of course, it's also heavier. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to put this in the main core box for the simple fact that I already have so much stuff in there that I'm going to have to keep this outside, I'm pretty sure. Or I'm going to have to deal with the lift, okay? I like that they also included all the, uh, the variants. Of course they have to, yeah, but I mean, it's in there. Then the game modes, which are new, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so it's like specific scenarios, Serenade of the Six Guns, the Golden Rule. So they'll always tell you what certain people are carrying, what, what is where and uh, what is in the game. Risky Business, Who Runs Border Town. So I like it. It's like recommended play count two to four, three to five, three to six, three to six, um, three to five. All right. I'm pretty sure there's no solo mode. Okay. So the rules reference, of course, according to the alphabet. So nicely alphabetized. All right. So it makes it a little bit easier to quickly go where you need to go. Or at least kind of guess. Um, 
All right, so mining, moving, poker, poker cards, regions, you know, all the stuff that you probably already know. Risk die is new. I'm sure we'll see that in the box later on. Uh, points, traveling trader is also new. All right, I want to track the wounds, wrangle, appendices, okay, fights. Nice to see the overview of what happens. It's a clear overview to see, to decide player fights, how it goes, and what the, what the results are. Game of Pharaoh and everything. How to get these points, also really, really good. And then, I like this too, you know, a nice overview of all the characters. So we have Ada Kernut, Al Swearingen, Alan Pinkerton, Annie Oakley. This is a spoiler for Blood Money already, but anyway. Bas Reeves, Bat Masterson. It's also according to Alphabet, and it says where you can find these people. All right. Bell Star was in the Fistful of Extras. Ben Hodges is in Blood Money. Billy the Kid, Bloody Knife, Buckshot Roberts, Buffalo Bill Cody. Butch Cassidy, Calam Calamity D Jane, Calamity Jane, Charlie Parkhurst, Dave Rodabar, Doc Holliday, Fego Baka, Fee Lee Wong, Is Isom Dart, James Bloody Arm Backworth, Jefferson Soapy Smith, Jesse James, Joaquin Murrieta, well, my name is Joachim, so maybe I should play as that guy, Johnny Ringo, Judge Roy Bean, Kit Carson, Lottie Deno, or Dino, Lozen, Maria Gertrudis Barcelo, Pat Garrett, Pearl Hart, Poker Alice, Seth Bullock, Stagecoach Mary Fields, Sundance Kid. Actually, with all these people, you can play as. Uh, uh, okay, I'll, I'll get back to it when I think about it. Texas John Slaughter, Tiburcio Vasquez, Tom Tobin. Wild Bill Hickok, all right? So they're all in the series. Oh, come on. Why can I not come up with the name of where Seth Bullock is, Seth uh, El Swearingen, Wild Bill Hickok, they're all in there. It's blah, blah, blah town, isn't it? Oh, I can't think of it now. I'll just put it in the video. William Curly Bill Brocious, Wyatt Earp, YB Rowdy, and uh, then you have the items, okay? You cannot play as a bedroll. The items start here. So, all the items here. I'm not gonna name all of them, obviously. I'm just gonna go through them a little bit, you know. And uh, yeah, this is a really nice book. I really did not expect it to be a hardcover. Maybe they, they mentioned in the Kickstarter. I'm sure they did, but you know, I missed it. Because I have to say, I don't really... So these are, are not typical items. They're legendary items, these ones. I don't really keep up with all the Kickstarter stuff. I mean, I, I back and then I back away. And uh, just see what I eventually get, basically. I mean, after the campaign has fi finished, of course. Uh -huh. All right. So there is an index at the, end, at the end. So it's good. And then that's it. Boom. This was the uh, complete rules reference from uh, Western Legends. Nice. All right, so now let's move on to Blood Money. Okay, it's a bit more to the side. Let's open it up. Of course, no art in inside. Uh, and uh, first thing I'm wondering about is, will I be keeping this box or not? Because normally I put everything in the main box, but uh, it's pretty full. I'll probably make a second video where I will show you what my Western Legends looks like at the moment and then you'll understand more about what I'm talking about. So this is actually all a little bit useless, to be honest, simply because I now have the, 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 the combined rules. But it would be good to just read about what is added and everything makes it a little bit easier just to see the difference, I guess. Um, like this is all useless now because of the uh, complete rules reference, but here new concepts and content. It's good to see what it has been added, like the story track, legendary story cards. Okay. Um, the risk die, as I talked about the injury cards, more injury cards, traveling trader and legendary items. You know, he has this little cool mini apparently. I'm sure we'll see it later. And then playing with blood money. It's another, another action, of course, that you can do. 
Um, all right. So the region actions is probably also something new. So because of the trader, I guess, as well. And then the game modes, which I also referenced before, like the seven of the six guns, which it's okay the way they show it here, but it's way better in the reference book because it's color coded and everything, which is much nicer than the way it looks here. It's still okay, but the reference book is so much better. Uh, for the people who don't have it, sorry. <laughs> don't mean to rub it in. But it, it's just the way it is. All right. So who runs Border Town? And then is it the last one? And done. Okay. Then we have some player aids, I guess. These are just uh, flimsy papers, to be honest. Very, very flimsy. So I guess the new action is the traveling trader. So let me now quickly take one of those player aids and see if the traveling trader is mentioned there. Not on this side and not on this side. So basically they gave the player aids from anti up, but not didn't update them with blood money because the traveling trader is not on here because I cannot see it anywhere. Strange decision, but whatever. All right, so double-sided, okay. All right, like I said, strange decision not to add, like the risk die as well is not on the other. So you still end up with that player aid, this one, and then technically you also need this one, which is a lot. Okay, maybe, you know, I'm just I'm just a guy who reviews, not reviews, who just does an unboxing. Uh, I don't know how much more space they would need on the original player aid to make it happen. Maybe it's just too much. I don't know. All right, so here we have land deeds and some mining tokens and uh, some uh, bandit tokens. Okay. And then this is a story track, as I mentioned before, bandit tokens. I think this has to do with the story cards, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. The traveling trader has its own little uh, store front. Traveling trader icon is just loose icon. I mean, token is just loose in the thing. It's a bit weird, but it looks okay. You know, rolling emporium. I guess I'm gonna have to paint this as well because spoiler alert: there has I have done some painting with my base game. This is just more of the same, to be honest, because I think I already have this in the base game. I don't remember purple. Maybe it's just more extra pieces, I don't know. And then the risk die, you have SP, you have some wounds, and then wound and SP. All right, so, um, and then we have all these cards. These I'm not going to open, because actually I'm going to open them. But I guess these are the poker cards, not really necessary. So I'll open all of them, uh, put them here, and then we will uh, go over them, okay? Okay, so let's first look at the first deck and see what they are. And uh, here we go. So these seem to be the uh, skills that the new characters have. Like, Swear engine, what he can do. I'm not gonna go over everything, okay? Ben Hodges, James Beckworth, and everything. All these people, all right? Okay. So those are these. Then we have the uh, items: cattle brand, portraits, spurs, canteen, snakeskin boots, dime western, telegram, fiddle, pump trolley. Dragoons, shot glass, shortcuts, and then uh, items, legendary ones, I guess, I'm not sure. Or maybe these were the legendary ones. Uh, I don't know, it just says item. All right, after you give, uh, so a boot knife, not a boot knife, boot knife. So I'm guessing these are legendaries because there's only one of them. Boot knife, boot knife, boot knife, bull whip, it's new, medicine pouch. Pocket watch, burro, so Spanish for donkey if I'm not mistaken, repeating shotgun. And then we have two deeds, which I'm gonna put on top of here 
because that is about deeds. Here we have the people like El Swearingen. I have to say in the series, he looks a lot more intimidating than he looks here. Here he looks like a nice old guy. El Swearingen with of course the starting locations and so on, bonus that he gets. Ben Hodges, Tom Tobin, El Fego Baca, Texas John Slaughter, Lotideno, Mardino, Lozen, James Bloody Arm Beckworth, Charles Parkhurst, Buckshot Roberts, and these cards we've seen before in the other deck. So some of these cards, I mean the poker cards will probably be thrown away. Okay, so, or I'll just keep them as a regular poker deck with the other cards. Then we have deeds. So deeds are apparently that you can buy, like it's cost $90 at the Dark Rock Bank, or this is the deed of the Dark Rock Bank. So flip this to move to the Dark Rock Bank, you may deposit nuggets. So apparently it's like an action you can do on your turn. End of game, gain one uh, legendary point for each deed you own, including this one. Okay, so you have Red Falls Cabaret, Doctor Office. So basically you have a deed for every location in the game, and it'll give you stuff like Spikes Few Mine. Flip this to move to the Spikes Few Mine and gain one gold nugget. It seems like it's like a teleport thing. Because always flip this to move, flip this to move, flip this to move. Flip this to move, and you always get something, right? So this is nice. Flip this to move to the Spikes View Rail Station or the current location of the train. So the Spikes View Rail Station, also nice. So okay, nice. So you always go to somewhere. It's like you're, 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 like I said, like a transportation. It's like you're watching Game of Thrones, one of the last seasons. All right. So these are the injuries. You have new injuries uh, that might have. Uh, I'd say it a bigger influence than before okay anyway so a lot of them then we have some more uh, a random setup deck so I guess you just shuffle them and then you see which items come out so that's nice I like random stuff and then these are the traveling trader locations so I guess you shuffle this and then you always see where he goes to the traveling trader which is cool all right, those are all these done. Once again, I'm feeling really scared about putting every, all of this in my main box, my core box of Western Legends. These are the other story cards, okay? So this is the, the this is the, these are the choices, all right? This got a poker card, uh, this got a poker card, all those kind of things, yeah. So a lot of different stories now, purchase a deed, because of course you have to uh, insert deeds and everything to the stories as well. Sometimes you have three, okay, end your turn at a ranch with a legendary item, end your turn at a mine with a legendary item, or end your turn at a bandit hideout or outlet camp. So stuff like that. Um, this card, some are really, <laughs> really have a lot of stuff. <laughs> Uh, this is one of the new things as well. Discard one poker card at the Buzzard Gulch, Marshall's office, to gain two story points and reveal the map token there. If you reveal an X dot or whatever, or an X map token, draw one poker card. So these tokens also matter. Okay, so those are those cards. Like I said, I'm not going to go over it. Otherwise, it'd be like really, really, really long to go over every card. Um, yeah, so all in all, I think it'll just... It's, it's not a huge expansion. Uh, I think we can agree on that. But I think there is some stuff that you can easily add. I like the deeds. I like the traveling merchants as well. Um, more items always cool. More people is always cool. So, yeah. All right. Is this going to mean that it come, gets to the table more? Maybe. I don't know. I'll just uh, introduce it to as many people as I can and then we'll see what happens. All right. Now, like I said, I will make a second video where I... Uh, show you the state of my uh, Western Legends setup at the moment. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's go over everything I have and what it looks like now. All right, that is it. That is the unboxing of Western Legends Blood Money, the Kickstarter. Um, thank you very much for watching. Oh, I should also say, I'm sorry. I should also say I do not have the buildings, as you can see, because I already have, spoiler alert, buildings so i didn't back the buildings from the kickstarter so it is what it is anyway thank you thank you very much for joining me in this uh, unboxing um my name is joachim 
this is uh, so many games so little time and i'll see you next time okay all right bye bye